Kevin Barnett. This is The American Athlete. People ask about getting better in this sport. One of the funny answers I'll give them right off the bat is, you might need different parents. Because let's be honest, anybody who is on a professional setting, be it beach, be it indoor, in any sport, you won the genetic lottery to some extent. We are at the AVP Hermosa Beach Open. I played 10 years professionally indoors. I was gonna come out and play on the beach, but my body was kind of given up after I was done. So my journey in this sport was kind of unique. I did not play in high school until my senior year. Found the sport, moved to California for a year, played at Marine Street, which is about two miles north of here, and got my start that way on the beach for a whole year. Just trying to get games with pros, went to college, ended up on the indoor side for 10 years before joining the crew of announcing. After that, I had an opportunity on the indoor side to join that before I cycled around to everything volleyball. The differences between beach and indoor are stark. You have to do every skill out here. There's no place to hide. There are no subs. You will get served if you cannot pass. You will get your partner served if you cannot set. And there is no getting away. So that's one of the main things. There's, you can't get put on the bench. The coach can't save you. You will go down on center court in front of a few thousand people if you're having a bad day. And the sand. I know that players that have changed, everything indoor is so quick so spring-loaded, it's all these quick, fast movements out here, it becomes more of a power game. You have to find a way, and you'll actually find that you'll build muscle on your body out here because it is that push through the sand, that grind, instead of that quick movement off the hard floor. The reason I ended up out of the game is my knees and some cartilage damage that I sustained along the way, probably not even volleyball related, just goofing around. And cartilage, unfortunately, I teased my buddy who's a high-level orthopedic surgeon. Like, you guys are terrible. You guys are no good at your job because this is one little problem and I'm out of the game in five years because you guys can't fix this. If you damage your cartilage, you're pretty much going to be done on a tighter time frame than you would have been. If you tear an ACL, if you blow an MCL, if you destroy an ankle, you probably have a better chance of being back long term than you do if you injure cartilage. There's no good fix. The AVP has been committed to this. Donald Sun has been committed to this. He's shown the fortitude necessary to build a brand from where it was in 2010 when it was just gone from the face of the universe. And they've done some innovative stuff with AVP First, AVP Next, adding those in as part of the business, partnering with big tournaments across the United States. And the partnership with Prime Video I think is tantamount to redefining the space from an advertiser perspective because now you don't just have access to the United States. You don't just have access to what a big three network does, which is already huge. You now have the world. You're talking about over 220 countries across the planet that have Prime Video, have Amazon Prime. And that, to me, if I were running a company, that would be attractive to me from a distribution standpoint. I believe this to be a partnership that is indicative of the future. It's funny, people pretend that athletes who struggle after they're done with their career is somehow an athlete problem. It's not an athlete problem. It is a human problem. If you're an accountant in one of the big five accounting firms and they one day come to you, hand you a pink slip and say, by the way, you can no longer work in accounting, you will struggle for five years no matter what you do because you do not have another set of skills. Oh, why didn't you develop something else while you were playing? Why didn't you plan for the future? Yeah, why didn't I do something else besides accounting when I was an accountant? Because you don't, because that's what you do. So it's not an athlete problem, it is a human problem of trying to find something else that you are just as passionate about, but that also has value and provides you an opportunity to earn a living, be happy, be fulfilled. And you can't always find that. My father, who was a professional basketball player, never found it. And I'm too much of a busybody to let that happen. When I stopped playing after a robust career, a lot of people would give their right arm to play 10 years, but I floundered around for a good five years trying to figure out what to do and my mom was worried that she was gonna watch the same thing happen. And I tried to explain to her mom, it doesn't matter that I'm failing, it matters that I'm still searching. My father gave up the search. We're here to find out if people recognize one of the most unique guys in the world, Phil Dahlhauser, with a little game called, Is This Phil? If you told me three years ago I'd be where I am today, working for the AVP, working for Pac-12, working for NBC at the Olympics, I'd say yes, sign me up. Sign me up for that, sitting here today, the athlete in me wants more. And I think that's what people talk about with athletes and ex-military. 
the ability to learn, the motivation to learn, the structured environment to learn, that we're used to that. We crave that. And that's why you should hire those people. Not because they have the skills today, but because in a year, they'll be better than anybody else you would have hired. So I don't really have a definite plan at this point. My plan is to, every time I show up, I serve three masters. I serve the people whose product it is, in this case, the AVP, the broadcaster, and then myself. And my goal is when I show up, I make your brand look good.